Omar and I am a photographer as well as a mental health counselor. Um, I remember growing up in Ottawa in different communities. We were in Codwell, the Foster Farm, the Michelle Heights, and now we're in Ritchie. And it's because every single time we moved, there was a new addition in the family, a new welcome addition. And we ended up with seven kids. Uh, I remember picking up my first camera when I was uh, in ninth grade at Woodruff High School, taking photos of family and friends. And that started as a hobby and it ended up being a way to express myself. This is me making a video. Richie is uh, a great place to live, but we're in the news usually for the wrong reason. So with this project, we amplified their voices and talked about the racism that they went through at school, at work, during their everyday lives and how that impacted them. As a mental health counselor, um, I'm extremely privileged to understand mentally what it does to someone of color when they go through a racist experience. With this project, it was a way to kind of alleviate that and put our, our voices forward and for people to understand that this is an ongoing struggle. And it happens in Canada, and not only in Canada, it happens in your own city of Ottawa. So that project actually went everywhere in Ottawa. I remember getting hundreds of messages in like a span of a week, struggling to reply to everyone. I was getting messages from social workers, from teachers. A lot of people were impacted by, by what these young black youth were going through in our neighborhood, and not only in our neighborhood, in other neighborhoods. You're killing it. We have a model on our hands. So that actually led to the second project, which you're seeing today. We took photos of 10 people in each neighborhood with these handmade backdrops that you're seeing right now. So we actually hand painted these backdrops. So the three neighborhoods that we chose was Lower Town. We got Lower Town, we got Overbrook, and we did Michelle Heights. We're not only talking about racism this time, we're also talking about what it means, what it means to be black in Ottawa. I like the photos. They exceeded my expectations. Yeah, really good. You like the pictures too. Yeah, I need to get those pictures. I'm proud of who I am today, honest to God. Uh, and even talking to the kids today, Definitely they are proud of who they are as well. So, welcome to Penny. <laughs> no, I'm smiling because it makes me think of that question that we get asked all the time. You know, like someone's gonna say, where are you from? You're gonna say, obviously here, if you're from here. You're like, no, 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 where you're really from. So, that happened to me a couple times. Mm, first I would say, don't take it personal. It's not something that, you know, it, you're not born with it, you learn it. And sometimes it's not your fault, it depends on where you grew up and your parents and how they, how they raised you. So it can affect how you see things. But people can change and they can learn to see things on the other side, if I can say that. Bad. Because it's not something that, it's not proper to someone, it's not something universal. You just don't see them for what they do, but they are the exception, not the majority. I want to ask you a little bit about the struggles, but what are your hopes for the future? Um, so my hope is that for my kid, grandkids actually will be able to come into this world and be able to just be kids and to just live and not fear that because of the color of their skin that they're going to be prejudged and um, that things are going to be denied to them because of the color of their skin. Um, Something that they can't change. That they cannot change, you know. Um, so I, I hope that. I hope that, you know, eventually that we'll see equality for everybody, you know, black, whites, you know, all of us, um, the LGBTQ community, that all of us will have, you know, some form of equality and peace and to be able to live our true self, lives and our true self, authentic selves, and, and not be judged and not be afraid to be who we are at our core. 
I'd just like to say this project has been extremely rewarding. Thank you to every single person who stood in front of my camera and allowed me to capture their portrait as well as capture their voices. Honestly, just listening to some of the things that the youth are saying uh, in these clips, it really brings me back to how this is an important project. This is a full circle moment. Um, I recently got to present at one of my old high schools, Woodruff High School, um, and talk about how photography is a social tool. I'm happy to be a product of this neighborhood and I'm proud of where I come from. Um, but it's bittersweet actually because we're actually moving um, to the south side of Ottawa. Uh, you know, it's, 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 hab it's a happy moment, but it's also we feel apprehensive because we built such a foundation here. Um, but you know, on to a new chapter. Uh, and <laughs> we don't forget our roots. Here. West side till I die, till the sun don't shine. And the sun is shining now, everyone. So that's a wrap.